foreign influence, terrorism, possible intervention. This is how China is trying to shape the story of what's happening in Hong Kong. For weeks, anti-government protests have gripped Hong Kong, with anger rising over China's growing influence. The Chinese have responded by trying to control the narrative. Here's how. This is Junius Ho, a lawmaker in Hong Kong with strong ties to Beijing. At this press conference, he shows off pictures of foreigners seen at the protests. It's an attempt to tie them to some kind of outside influence. Foreign influence and anti-government sentiment are also common themes in posts by CGTN, China's international media outlet. This post shows a tweet from former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, who's voicing support for the Hong Kong protests. The tweet is used as proof that the U.S. is interfering in Hong Kong. Clinton's tweets were also part of a music video that CGTN published featuring Chinese mainland rappers. Hey, Mrs. Clinton, you know nothing about Chinese citizens. Now I got some words from the president. Oh, something's probably happening with Hong Kong. Somebody wants to get up from us. One story in the People's Daily, the official paper of China's Communist Party, was blunt in its reporting on foreign influence. There is no question that the United States has its hand in what's going on in Hong Kong, though to what extent is hard to measure. Chinese officials are increasingly framing the protests as threats to national security. There's also a pattern of focusing on protesters being violent. The media labels these demonstrations as organized by a small group of rogue actors. Video of simulated military exercises carried out by police in mainland China show the protesters as dangerous rioters. And when protests at Hong Kong's international airport escalated, CGTN emphasized an incident in which a reporter from the mainland was tied up and beaten by protesters. The next day, many demonstrators apologized for their actions at the airport. CGTN did not report this. Chinese media put out this video about its police in Shenzhen. It shows the People's Armed Police Force stationed in a city that borders Hong Kong. The video says the People's Armed Police Force shall participate in handling riots, disturbances, severe violent crimes, terrorist attacks, and other incidents disturbing social peace. China also released this video of anti-protester drills being carried out by the Hong Kong garrison of the People's Liberation Army. Satellite images and video confirm China's show of force in the region. It's unclear if China's uniformed police will actually be deployed in Hong Kong. And the People's Liberation Army already has a troop presence there. Instead, these videos are more likely a show of nationalism to prevent the movement from spreading to mainland China. They also act as a reminder that military intervention in Hong Kong remains an option. But what's noticeably absent from Chinese reports on Hong Kong? People are kept in the dark about the real reasons for the protests.